Okay, this little mechanical electrical resonance system uh, was inspired by uh, a user by the name of Mag Lubbin, or Mags as we call him. Uh, he's doing something similar. He's uh, using a uh, electric motor with a magnet on it um, instead of the electric coil where I have it. So uh, basically, what we're doing is uh, sending an AC current through this coil. Um, that is directly timed where we get maximum amplitude out of that wobbly bit of uh, perspex sheeting there. That little coil there is our amplitude sensor um, and then we have a 680 ohm resistor across that which we have the scope across that resistor uh, which is channel 1, our yellow channel and channel 2 on our scope here is across 10 ohm CVR and the system is being fed by our signal generator here um, 7.071 volts RMS at the moment and a frequency of 11.2 Hertz so you'll see on our scope there the yellow trace about 364 millivolts 364, 368 millivolts across our um, 680 ohm resistor there which is on our amplitude sensor and across our 10 ohm CVR we have 192 millivolts RMS which is 19.2 um, milliamps thereabouts so um, what I'm going to do here is I'll uh, drop our frequency down by 0.1 of a hertz um, like I said we're 360 and 360 millivolts max across our um, amplitude sensing coil so I'll drop it down by 0.1 of a hertz and you can see our amplitude is dropping which means this is no longer going backwards and forwards as far as it was I'll lift it up to 3 so we're 11.3 hertz at the moment and we have about 336 millivolts across our uh, 680 ohm resistor on our um, amplitude sensing coil if I drop it back down to 11.2 Hertz you can see once again we now have 368 millivolts across our um, 680 ohm resistor so that is um, at the moment at its resonant frequency Now the thing I found interesting um, with this setup is um, at its resonant frequency we are drawing our 19.2 milliamps and we are dissipating a very small amount of power across our resistor from our amplitude sensing coil. If I stop this from moving, our current draw goes up as you can see and we are doing zero work across our um, little resistor there as you can see by the yellow trace we have the really squat there now so no work using 19.6 milliamps at 7.071 volts RMS and if we let it crank up again while well, it's running at its resonance frequency the current draw has now dropped our RMS voltage is the same and we are now um, drawing some small amount of work from that system um, by dissipating the power created 
our sensing coil across that resistor which is 364 millivolts at the moment so the only thing to do now um, is to remove this all together and I'll show you how much the uh, coil draws as far as um, current goes by itself I'll just sit you down here for a minute so I can undo our little paddle here get it out of the road and we can see if the uh, magnet itself was having any effect on the coil and the amount of power it drew Happy Dookie was uh, sitting still, and as you can see, um, we're still drawing 19.6 milliamps um, just with the coil buzzing along by itself there with the uh, magnet nowhere near it. So, this system is using the least amount of power when it is actually doing work at its resonant frequency, which is quite interesting. So, um, yeah, what I'll do is I'll uh, switch the camera off, I'll put a paddle back on there, a little uh, flappy bit of stuff, and um, we'll let it run and we'll drop the um, frequency of our uh, signal generator down so it's not at its resonant frequency, and um, we'll once again have a look to see how much current it is drawing. So, um, I'll go ahead and put it back together. Actually I might as well just keep you going. Saves me splicing all these shows together. And I'll just screw it back in while you're waiting. Because I love waiting. Okay, so she's up and running again. Thinking away there. And um, we're using 18.8. So I would say, I haven't screwed that back quite in the same place as it was. Maybe slightly out or slight different um, tension on our screws. But we are drawing less, so if we stop it once again. Nineteen point six milliamps with nothing on our output, so it's not doing any work this system. And if I let it go, we're now down to eighteen point eight milliamps and still at our 7.071 volts RMS supply. Uh, my signal generator will put out about 120 milliamps so um, that is why that is not changing. Current being delivered is the same and the voltage being delivered is the same but when we stop the system like so our current draw goes up so we'll let that pick up and we'll drop it out of resonance okay so that's happy once again I would say tightening those screws up have made a little bit better which is indicating to me that a, uh, a more rigid um, wobbly flappy thing would uh, be much better get it up to a higher frequency but anyway so what we're going to do now we have about 180 uh, 383 76 um, millivolts peak across our um, little UB dissipating resistor there that's on our sensing or amplitude sensing coil um, 
what we will do, oh, we've got 192 millivolts RMS across that resistor. So I did put it in there, it should have been up here. I like to keep channel 1 up top, channel 2 down the bottom so it doesn't get confusing, but um, there you go anyway. That's our RMS voltage across our uh, little resistor. And there's our RMS voltage across our current sensing resistor. Alright, so uh, we'll drop it out of resonance. I'll drop it down to 11 hertz. And as you can see, our amplitude on our dissipating resistor has dropped right down. Uh, it's now 104 millivolts RMS. Our current has gone up again to um, 196 millivolts RMS which is 19.6 milliamps because it is a 10 ohm CBR <coughs> and um, as you can see the amplitude is nowhere near the same we'll bring it back up to its resonant frequency it's 11.2 Hertz we are now getting uh, more energy out of the system but we are putting less energy in the system we are putting in the 18.8 milliamps at our 7.071 volts RMS so there you go um, <coughs> not really much more I can show you with this setup other than the fact that um, when the system is in resonance it indeed does give it the capability of doing more work for less input. So um, thanks to Mags. This is where I got this idea from. It wasn't mine, it was his. I've simply replaced um, the electric motor with the uh, spinning magnet on it with a um, coil, which is becoming our electromagnet. So there you go. Uh, in this case here, hitting the resonant frequency um, on our mechanical side of the setup definitely um, increases the efficiency of the system greatly so there you go with this here doing work um, our system is consuming less power than if that wasn't there doing work as you've seen when we remove this all together so very interesting um, if that doesn't prove resonance is a vital uh, component of any system for efficiency then I don't know what is so, uh, now I'm not sure what is actually doing the extra work there obviously we've decreased the input to our coil so it's doing less work so uh, something else, I don't know whether it's uh, the magnet that is um, doing the extra work or just the fact that this is now in resonance and somehow, well, I don't know how. Yeah. We'll leave it up to everyone's interpretation, we'll discuss it and see what we come in with. But um, yeah, very, very interesting. 18.8 milliamps is our current draw at the moment. Our voltage has not changed, so our RMS voltage has remained stable because this signal generator is far more than capable of delivering the current we need to maintain the voltage. Um, our amplitude, of course our um, little sensing coil is now as high as it goes, which indicates we are in the resonant frequency. Um, and we have 196 volts RMS across our little 680 ohm resistor. It's not a lot, but um, this is only a very low powered system and just shows you the effect. And once again, if we go and stop that, of course, we'll get nothing on the output anymore, as you can see. And our current draw goes up, so the system is now consuming more power, doing less work. And when we make the system do work at its resonance frequency, 
now consuming less power and actually doing some work on the output side. So, um, interesting stuff. Thanks, Manx, for the idea. Um, never actually thought of doing it this way, but something somewhere is um, creating a situation where this can do more work using less power. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I'll get this uploaded. Let's have a look and um, yeah, leave your thoughts in the comments or on the thread. Cheers guys.